We shall try and understand the different stages involved in the product development procedure for compounding extrusion with the help of an animation. The first step in the product development procedure is to define the scope and objectives of the project. This includes defining the target market, the intended use of the product and the performance requirements. The next step is to select the appropriate polymer and additives for the project. This involves considering factors such as the cost, availability and the desired properties of the final product. Once the polymer and additives have been selected, a recipe can be formulated. The recipe will specify the exact proportions of each ingredient that are to be used in the compounding extrusion process. Laboratory testing is conducted to verify the properties of the compound and ensure that it meets the performance requirements. Testing can include physical, mechanical and chemical forms of test methods. If the compound meets the performance requirements in the industry, it can be scaled up to pilot production. Pilot production involves producing a larger batch of the compound to verify that it can be produced consistently on a larger scale. Once the pilot production batch has been produced, it can then be tested in the field to verify that it performs as expected in the intended application. If the compound performs as expected in the field, it can be commercialized and introduced to the market. Ongoing testing and refinement may be necessary to optimize the performance of the compound over a period of time.